Hi everyone, my name is Anna Anders, humbly here at forglobalpeace.com. This is June 2nd, 2015, and this is my second video. Uh, this is part two of the video, and um, I already said the serenity prayer. I think I'll open this video with the third step prayer, which is, God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of sick and suffering self, so that I may better do thy will. Please take away all my difficulties, small and large, so that victory over them all would bear witness to those that I can help. Of thy power, of thy love, of thy way of life, may I do your will always. Amen, and thanks be to God in the Most Highest. I'm humbly Anna Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com, and I want to show you something. I'm going to try and show you this book here. I don't know if you can see the... Let's see if it'll work. Okay. You can see... Okay, there. Now you can see it. It says, Owning Our Power, June 2nd. And this meditation book was written by uh, Melody Beatty. She's a lady that I, I love and I adore. Um, she's working a variety of 12-step meetings and programs, but she's a writer, and she's gone through... She's gone through the shit and back, you know, in life, uh, the corruption, if you will, and disruption of human life and human values, values in terms of d addiction issues and stuff and codependency and all that. So I really respect Melody Beatty's work, and I don't take it lightly because I've done codependent work here in Flagstaff, Arizona for a couple years doing w step work and all that good stuff, so I don't regret any of it. So this morning I opened up to this reading and it's titled, Owning Our Own Power. Owning Our Power. We don't have to give others so much power and ourselves so little. We don't have to give others so much credit and ourselves so little. In recovery from codependency we learn there's a big difference between humility and discounting ourselves. When others act irresponsibly and attempt to blame their problems on us, we no longer feel guilty. We let them face their own consequences. When others talk nonsense, we don't question our own thinking. When others try to manipulate or exploit us, we know it's okay to feel anger and, dis and distrust and to say no to their plan. When others tell us that we want something that we really do don't want, or someone tells us that we don't want something that we really do want, we trust ourselves. And this morning, I did not write this in here, but at the bottom of this reading, it says forglobalpeace.com. Moving on. Moving on with the reading, that is. When others tell us things we don't believe, we know it's okay to trust our own instincts. We can even change our mind later. We don't have to give up our personal power to anyone. Strangers, friends, spouses, children, authority figures, or those over whom we are in authority. People may have things to teach us. They may have more information than we have and may appear more confident or forceful than we feel. But we are all equals. Our magic is not in them. Our magic, our light, is in us. And it is as bright as the light at, at, in, excuse me, and it is as bright as, and it is a bright, I got to back it up again. I'm too excited. And it is as bright a light as theirs. We are not second class citizens by owning our power. We don't have to become aggressive or controlling. We don't have to discount others, but we don't have to discount ourselves either. Today, I will own my own power with people. I will let myself know what I know, feel what I feel, believe what I believe, and see what I see. I see a blue sky. The sky is blue. That's what I see. I ad-lib there. I will be open to changing and learning from others and experience, but I will trust and validate myself too. I will stand in my own truth. Amen and thanks be to God in the most highest. I'm humbly Anna Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com. What I want to say is I was talking about being invalidated and being validated yesterday on my Facebook wall and talking about is the sky blue. So, and this morning when I opened to this reading, I thought, oh my God, it was so powerful, S-O-U-L, powerful. So I had to thank my creator and say thank you so much, God, for this. Um, I'm going to move on to the next meditation reading. This is out of the 24-hour-a-day book. I don't know if you can see this one. I'll try and 
bring it up closer, but it's kind of hard, you guys. Let me just open to the page. Um, today's June 2nd. See here? June 2nd, up there at the top. And the thought for the day. Some more things I do not miss since becoming dry. Wondering if the car is in the garage or how I got home. Struggling to remember where I was and what did I what I did since my last conscious moment. Trying to delay getting off to work and wondering how I will look when I get there. Dreading the day ahead of me. I'm quite sure that I don't miss those things that I am not. Meditation for the day. You cannot believe in God and keep your selfish ways. The old selfish self shrivels up and dies. And upon the, and upon the reborn soul, God's image becomes stamped. The gradual elimination of selfishness is the, in the growth of love for God and for your fellow human beings is the goal of life, is the goal of all life. At first you have, on, at first you have only a faint likeness to the divine, but the picture grows and takes on more and more of the likeness of God until those who see you can see in you some of the power of God's grace and presence at work in a human life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may develop that faint likeness I have to, be, to the divine. I pray that others may see in me some of the power of God's grace at work humbly. Amen and thanks be to God in the most highest. I'm Anna Anders here for GlobalPeace.com today. I needed this prayer and meditation session um, so much because it's been a soul-challenging day. Um, I'm going to close this this video, the second video with the Our Father, and then I'm going to do another video um, because I have some things I have to talk about with you. Th please and thank you. So, um, yes, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from ego and evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thanks be to God in the Most Highest. Again, as I said, I'm Anna Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com. Thank you for tuning in to this prayer and meditation video, June 2nd, 2015. Goodbye.